for some more Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3 for the 8-Bit Summer. It is time to take on World 7. Let's begin level 1. And away we go inside already. Oh, this level. Oh, well. Actually, uh, this level is not that bad. I practiced this world so many times uh, throughout my playing of this game. And I gotta remember that World 7 is a pain in the butt. Yeah, because you know, there's a little theme that I like to call piranha plants. They're just going to be everywhere that's going to bug us to death. Yeah. So I'm not looking forward to World 7. I'm also not looking forward to World 8, because I just remembered those two worlds are pain. They're evil. Evil! That's all I can say. Like, they're like not the greatest worlds to ever come across. You know, I, I I'm luckily I'm still here, you know. But... <laughs> Seeming how great I am in this game, and I do, um, I do lose that term GREAT a lot in this LP, but, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm starting to realize, oh well, I think we can go on that side, if you go on that side, I think that's where a lot of coins are, but, what the heck, I'm going this way, so, oh, great, now two Koopas are gonna be standing my way, huh, well that's not right, I'm gonna kill them, and hopefully I don't get killed. <laughs> Oh. That's not very nice. <laughs> Alright, so this should be the end, hopefully. My memory serves correctly. Just gotta jump up this pipe. And shading, we are out of here. <laughs> and Oh darn it, I wanna get the star. Oh. oh well. At least we got fifty-nine lives to spare. Yeah, I kind of need those lives, because the last world is not going to be helpful. I just... I am just not looking forward to World 8. It's going to possibly kick my... my ass, really. <laughs> eh, let's go ahead and get larger, shall we? Alright, so let's see what we got here. Can I hit this block and see what I get? Ooh, nice, I get a flower! I'm going to possibly keep this flower power. Um, because it's really going to serve its purpose in this world, especially. Because there's a piranha plants there, and there's piranha plants everywhere. Now, this is the stage that you have to hit all the note blocks down here. And just, uh, yeah. And if you hit all of them, there's like a secret block that you can get that you can get extra life up there. But, we're gonna go down this way. And swim. I don't see why there's a swimming part. Oh well. I guess they had to, you know, put that there for a reason. I mean, how else would we get across? And see, right there, that's extra life. And shading, there we go. Alright, getting pretty close here. This last bit of segments right there can be a little bit of pain. And it's not going to let me pass. Alright, Mr. Flower, get out of my way. And piranha plants are just not the nicest things in the whole wide world. You know, I might as well bust out some Wii control, but oh well. They don't serve that in Mushroom Kingdom, so I'll take what I can get and just kill them with firepower. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that's done. Let's go down this pipe here. There's a lot of uh, pipes that you gotta take care of in this world. And I just remember this is also gonna be another long world here. Ooh, let's get a star. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> that was a grand entrance right there. <laughs> that was just beautiful. Great way to start level 3, but... I think this is the level where you have to continually get the star. But we should be good here, hopefully. Alright, grab this star and go crazy. And there should be another star right there. And bam. Ooh, mushroom. Aw. Oh. oh, screw the mushrooms. Who needs mushrooms? I don't know why I got a P switch there. That's probably, yeah. That's not a good idea. <laughs> That's not a good idea. I probably simply need to keep the star power. Eh, if I remember correctly. Just hit the block! Thank you, Mario. Thank you, good old Mario. Alright, scrap this. Oh, come on. Just my bit of luck. Ah. Okay, I'm back. Um, there's a possibly chance that I took forever to finish this level, so... This should be it. Let's see how we do. Grab this star and go crazy once more. You know, because that's just like Mario's drug right there. <laughs> star powers is like infin invincibility drug. If there's such a thing in invincibility drugs, whatever. Right, 
grab those stars right there, and then there's the last bit of star power right there, just in case. But we should be good, because there's the end. Huzzah! At last, we finished this level. Ugh. About... I lost about, like, six or four lives right there. Good god. That was pain, but... But we're gonna ignore this card game. And go down this pipe. Which pipe to go? Doesn't really matter. They all lead pretty much the same here. So this is level five. Hello, level five. Uh, this is... Gonna be like a maze sort of thing here. We're gonna have to navigate through this little pipe puzzle. And there's gonna be some invisible blocks that you have to hit just to kind of get through this level. Like so. And let's grab some of these and kill all the Koopas. Because Koopas are not totally radical. Not like those kind of turtles. No. Alright. Up here I think there's an extra life block, but... Well, I don't really feel like getting it. Sorry. Alright. Let's go up this pipe. God. I think that's... Nope. Didn't think so. Oh, it's the middle one, actually. The middle one doesn't have the invisible box. So let's just go up there. Bam. Look at that. And down there should be an item. A block that we can bang our head against. And bam! Firepower! Throws through my veins. You know, it's kind of weird you can't destroy those bomb bombs with your firepower. But they'll just explode and relieve some good humor off of it and off of us. <laughs> Alright, nothing important. Sorry, Leaf. I don't want to grab you because I prefer the firepower. This is basically going to be firepower theme right here from Mr. Mario. Well, especially in this world. But, up we go, and now that we cleared most of that stuff, yeah, our goal is to basically get to that other side. Although, I guess I should have probably grabbed the, the uh, leaf power now that I think about it. <laughs> Would have been a little bit quicker. But what the heck, we're gonna go this way, up here. Alright, and up here, get rid of that Koopa. And you can't really make it across here, although you probably could, but... Yeah, I kind of messed that up. <laughs> yeah, so you want to hit those blocks there. And walk across. There we go. Right. I kind of like the little music that Mario has when he, whenever he has full uh, speed power or whatever. It's just so funny to hear that little... <laughs> that little jittery glitter that gets through my childish veins. <laughs> if that ever... If I have that whole sentence right there ever makes sense. <laughs> But all right, so go back this way that we came from, and now that we pretty much hit all the blocks there, it creates a secret passage. <laughs> Although um, I actually found out that you can probably get through there with the raccoon suit if you had full speed power, you can and you can still fly inside the buildings. But oh dang it, I missed the star again. What the heck? <sighs> Alright, so let's make a quick stop to the mushroom house and grab an item. Because, let's do that. <laughs> let's get some more ammunition. And that was a complete waste of item right there. I didn't want the frog suit. I don't even know how many frog suits I have, but whatever. Now let's see if I can get some more lives. Please. I don't think I've ever quite shown those off that much. Maybe in the first episode. Oh, jeez, not the... Not this. <laughs> the mushroom looks like it's wearing a pirate hat. <laughs> or a paper pirate hat. Yeah. Now would be a good time to bust out the frog suit. <laughs> it just looks so weird in it when he runs. <laughs> but, yay! I don't, don't think we ever quite shown off the frog suit in, like, actual water levels. But, hey, this is the frog suit that can pretty much travel much easier in water places. And I think this is the only level that serves the frog suit's purpose here, so... You know, I don't really find it much use afterwards, but whatever. <laughs> the frog suit's not really, like, any good after, like, Wilt 7. But I guess we'll have to show it off eventually. <laughs> but... Alright, so we got so many jellyfishes here and so many bloopers. That's just crazy. They don't like me, and I don't like them. So we're just going to keep on swimming here and do our best to survive and not get electrocuted and not get eaten by giant fishes. And I just ran out of breath right there. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. 
I almost called you Squidward for a sec. <laughs> You're Squidwards. Oh no. Alright, good. I wanted to lose it. Yeah, because I really don't want to use it after this world here. It's pretty much done. Like, no more frog suit ever in this Let's Play. No more. <laughs> All it is now is just the fire fire. And that's it. That's my only true love right there. <laughs> um, some of you may know that my favorite power-up in Mario games is pro for this game is probably, as I s keep stating, it's the Tanuki suit. Um, for, I don't know why, but it just it looks so much awesome on Mario. And plus, you get a freaking cool stone ability that makes you invincible. That's just amazing. I've never seen any suit do that. Ever. It's just crazy. Alright, so now we're on the top half. This is kind of a piranha level section right here, where there's like gonna be a bunch of pipes and a bunch of piranhas, so I hope you brought your exterminator kits, so... You're gonna just torch these guys to the bottom of the roots. You know, just do it! I don't care what it takes, just... Just don't get hit by those guys. At all. <laughs> and... The only reason why we want to come here is... I guess to just, one, unlock the gates, if we ever beat the castle. Just in case it's like a little shortcut, probably, because it takes you to some pipes. Hey, you can pretty much skip through most of the worlds. But, we're gonna see if we can finish this, you know, just the just in case, you know. And, ah, god, I didn't want to jump. My reflexes, my timing for reflexes is just so bad in these situations. But, oh well. Oh well, let's just screw that, and let's go to the first castle. And, here we go. I'm gonna just run across all the way here. Because we want to get big. And the only way to get the mushroom is up this way. You want to basically uh, stay big for this level, and your goal is mainly to get uh, the leaf power up. You can also you get the Tanuki suit in here, so you just go back the way we came from from the beginning through this door. And what you want to do is find a hidden P switch in these blocks, and that basically just activates a hidden door right here. Now I'm not sure what happens if you fall, but. I probably should guess that you don't want to fall. Otherwise, you're going to be in the world of hurt. <laughs> so, bam. Tanuki suit is mine! Come here, you. Oh, yes, I missed you so much. <laughs> okay, let's get back to business to defeat this castle. Alright, so basically go down this way. And now that we have Tanuki suit power, we can run! Now, what you want to do is run up to this spot right here where there's like a plus uh, little platform thing right there, and then you fly up there, and that's where the pipe is. And I actually got that in the first try. <laughs> that's amazing. And once again, boom, boom. Not my greatest friends ever. I'm just going to smack you with my tail. And laugh with victory. Ha ha ha! Because I feel great! 